Now a tiny sample of rock and dust taken from an asteroid hundreds of millions of miles from Earth has arrived in the UK for study. The fragments were scooped up by NASA from the asteroid uh, Bennu in 2020 and delivered in a capsule to uh, the Utah desert two months ago. Our science editor Rebecca Morell has more. A piece of asteroid from deep space has finally arrived at London's Natural History Museum. And we've separated out these little bigger fragments in our stones of interest. Scientists here have been waiting years for the chance of a close-up look and to get their gloved hands on this precious extraterrestrial material. <laughs> I think it's, it's beyond our wildest dreams. It's an incredibly beautiful rock. It's very, very black, but with some tiny little white bits in as well. And we found that each little grain looks a bit different to the other grains. So it's going to keep us busy for years trying to figure it all out. The sample comes from this, a 500 metre wide space rock called Bennu. It was collected by a NASA spacecraft in a smash and grab manoeuvre and packed into a capsule to bring it back home. Touchdown. I repeat, DDL. FRC has touchdown. After landing in the Utah desert, it was quickly secured. Now the dust inside is being distributed to scientists around the world. It's incredible to see this material up close, grabbed from an asteroid hundreds of millions of miles away. Now, there isn't much in here, just a few milligrams, but for scientists, this is a treasure trove. Every single tiny grain will be analysed and the hope is they could answer some of the biggest questions we have about our solar system. Within this sort of polished section we have a tiny little particle of Bennu but when we look under this microscope we can start to see all the information that it can tell us about the history of Bennu. The ultra close-up view of this single speck provides a map of the minerals and elements within the rock. And this is vital because Bennu is a relic from the early solar system and scientists are finding it's rich in carbon and water. We know that we have water here on the Earth. How did it get here? And so we think things like Bennu could have potentially brought that water. And so we're going to study the water in Bennu, see if it's similar to the water we have on the Earth. And if we find similarities, that gives us a really good idea that the asteroids like Bennu were helping to deliver at least some of the water to the Earth when it was just starting out four and a half billion years ago. The UK has so far been sent about a teaspoon of material, but there might be more to come, because some of the space rock is still stuck in the sample container at NASA HQ. Two of its 35 screws are proving tricky to undo, so new tools are being developed to retrieve every last bit of Bennu. The material that's here is being shared with some universities around the UK, so expect a slew of discoveries and some out-of-this-world surprises along the way. Rebecca Morrell, BBC News.